Hey folks, this is Riker, and with this being my 1000th video, I wanted to do something special. Wait, if... Wait, if we only have a thousand, that means this... No, oh, son of a bitch. Okay, then we're instead celebrating reaching 150,000 subscribers. Now, god damn it. Right at the end of 2015, we hit 100,000 subscribers. It was a great way to end the year. YouTube very kindly sent us this framed silver play button. It, it's probably made of like tin, like recycled beer cans and stuff. But nonetheless, it's amazing. It's all thanks to you folks. And uh, my goal for 2016 was to reach 150,000 subscribers. And we hit that a couple weeks ago. My stretch goal is 175 and we're well on track to hit that too. It's been quite a journey. Over the years, we've released a ton of videos. Uh, we've said hey to a lot of folks. Hey folks. Hey folks. Hey folks. Hey folks. And while I only started taking YouTube seriously about two years ago, my very first video was posted back in 2008. It was a guide for Unreal Tournament 3 intended for my clanmates. That would be gaming clan and not the clan. UT3 was the first game that I really took seriously. Ah, look at that. Look at that 480p glory. That square screen resolution, guys. That's that's some mm, classic vintage YouTube right there. This is a guide on how to perform... Dear God, that mic quality. It sounds like I'm talking through a 1950s walkie-talkie that's like being smothered by a pillow in a windstorm. No joke, guys. I was using a headset mic from the early 1990s. Like, this, this is it in this picture. No joke. That is honestly what I was using. It's like one of those telemarketer headsets. The kind that just has one earpiece. Like made from a dirty dish sponge shaped like an Oreo cookie. And it's just like held to your head with like this flimsy piece of scrap metal, probably salvaged from Chernobyl. And it was a year after that video, uh, 2009, that I started to regularly upload to YouTube. And it was just Dungeons and Dragons videos. I just, Dungeons and Dragons has been a huge part of my life, all my life, I wanted to share it with people. And that was my only goal. I just figured, well, let me just share my passion with other people on YouTube. Uh. One Dungeon Master, three players on the Dungeon Master. My name is CJ. And we still had that shitty mic that makes it sound like I'm driving rusty nails through your eardrums with a pneumatic hammer. And it was after a few years of just putting out D&D &D videos just as a hobby. Uh, my cat eating not just one, but two of my headset wires. As you can see, I tried to repair it to no avail. And in late 2013 is when I released my first... Diablo 3 video. I started off with a Diablo series, my hardcore challenge. It was my first time playing hardcore. I've been playing Diablo 3 every day for hours since its release. And we're gonna go for that Wretched Mother, complete that bonus quest, and what just happened? I'm frozen. No. No, no. No. Uh oh. Are we back? We're back! The game connection has been lost, your client has been disconnected from the server. And... Am I dead? I'm dead. I'm dead! Well, thank you Diablo! So I clearly had a great first hardcore experience. But uh, it was January 1st of 2014 that I had my first Diablo guide. Hey guys, this is Riker with a guide on how to acquire a large amount of common debris very quickly. One week later came my second guide and my first, hey folks. Hey folks, this is Riker. And uh, I'm look how young and fresh faced I looked. So, so full of hope. So little beard. So I kept making Diablo videos. Well into the release of Reaper of Souls a couple months later, I was spending hours every day researching, discovering things on my own, uh, new farming routes, this stuff. Like I was on the bleeding edge. When Reaper of Souls released, I was on the bleeding edge of content. YouTube started to consume more and more of my free time. I was spending less time uh, actually playing the game. So uh, eventually my content started to transition less into things I had firsthand experience on, more into things I just did research on, and eventually breaking into a sort of more newsy topics, uh, discussion topics. I want him banned. I want his family banned. I want his cat and his dog Band. Way back in early Reaper of Souls, I actually took a break from doing my heavy research and released an infographic video that uh, I think today is really cool to look back on. The most common drop were the legendary gloves Saint Archer's Gage, which accounted for one third of all legendary glove drops. 
legendary items dropped 11 times more often than set items. 38% of set item drops were from the Blackthorn set. Stupid Blackthorn set. And today, Blackthorn still sucks ass. By November 2014, we hit 30,000 subs. By March 2015, 50,000 subs. By July 2015, 75,000 subs. And it was in September 2015 that we started up our Patreon, one year ago. Since then, we've made a ton more Diablo videos. We've live streamed from BlizzCon. That was an amazing experience. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys might recognize this guy here. Get get down. <laughs> we got dat mods here. Did you get to see Quinn earlier? Hey, we got Wyatt right here. The man. And we've even more recently gone into Overwatch content. I hope to continue making content for you guys long into the future. I want to thank each and every one of you for supporting me in whatever way you have been, whether it's just watching my videos, that is supporting me, or supporting me more directly through Twitch and Patreon. And I'd like to take a quick moment just to thank my Patreon supporters specifically, because they tend to go unsung. You know, our Twitch supporters, I love all my supporters. Twitch supporters, they get a bit of acclaim, you know, they, they see each other, they, they recognize each other in chat. They've got the little raider banners and all this, and their names appear and this and that. But our Patreon supporters tend to go unnoticed, so I want to fix that. Patreon supporters will go unsung no longer. We will sung you now. And to that end, we are making a new shirt design in our merch shop. We're going to throw up the mock-up here. And basically, it's going to have a list of all of our Patreon supporters in this Raider R. So the shirt will look something like this. Uh, I'm actually wearing this on a, on a baseball tee, but it could be just a regular t-shirt uh, with the Raider logo emblazoned. Uh, across your chest. Honestly, the reason I like this type of t-shirt is because it kind of reminds me of the Crusader in Diablo, like having the tabard, like the white part coming down the middle with uh, across the dark clothing. Nerd! It doesn't matter how much support you're giving, if you're just pledging one dollar, that's enough to get your name in the design, so uh, we're gonna snapshot it at uh, the end of September, so anyone who is pledging who gets in a pledge before the end of September will get their name included in the design. It could be your screen name, could be your real name, whatever you want, your choice. And we want to snapshot it at the end of September because we're going to BlizzCon. And uh, if any of you guys are going to BlizzCon, it would be awesome if you could bring your shirt and, you know, point out to each other. Hey, this is me. Is that you? That kind of stuff. Um, would love to meet up with you guys and would love for us all to have a meetup. That goes for, for all, all the community. Any of you folks who are going to be in the Anaheim area, let's meet up at BlizzCon. Or right after BlizzCon, like in the evening, let's, let's hit up an IHOP or whatever. That wraps up this video. Again, thanks so much for the ongoing support. Love you folks.